Okay, working on an 09 Volkswagen Touareg with a 3.6 liter. Uh, complaint is an engine light and engine RPMs changing. Uh, let me take you to scan. Okay, so we have a PO507 idle control system RPM higher than expected. And then we have P2189 and a P2187 uh, system two lean, bank two, bank one. Uh, let me just let you listen to what this thing's doing. Let me take you to some scan data. Okay, so I just got my fuel system one and two, which is basically open or closed loop and then I have my short-term fuel trims on my left long-term fuel trims on my right and we are going back and forth between open and closed loop you can see my O2 sensors start reading in closed loop the computer is looking at the O2 sensors and it doesn't like what it sees so it goes back in the open loop <clears throat> these long term fuel trims they are not like normal domestics you would think right now that this long term fuel trim should be very positive driving the short term lean <clears throat> but it's not I'm going to raise my RPM up a little bit This thing feels kind of shaky too. Fuel trim still fixed positive. So I just switched over to factory mode. For this, this would be the long-term fuel trim learned at idle, and this would be the long-term fuel trim under partial load. Um, these two on the bottom, the bottom left and right, are my short terms. You can see they're still adding fuel. So the higher I go in RPM, these numbers start to come down, but basically this, this car has a humongous vacuum leak. I'm gonna take you under the hood and show you. But it keeps going in and out of closed loop and that's what this jumping RPM is. The computer looks at the O2s, it doesn't like what it sees, it goes back in open loop, then it's like, okay, we're gonna try the O2s again and it keeps repeating. <clears throat> These long-term fuel trims do not work like the domestics.
to where if you had a vacuum leak, your long terms would be really positive, keeping your short term around zero. Not this, when I raise the RPM, there's no change in there. My short terms, well now it's an open loop, but they're gonna go super positive. You hear the RPM jump up. It's just a different strategy. It doesn't work like that. So let me take you under the hood. You can hear a loud hissing noise. We'll go from there. Hard to pick it up, but a small hole right there in the valve cover. And the PCB comes through here. Hopefully I can pick that up. But why doesn't my RPM clear up when I plug up this hole? So I just have my back pressure gauge hooked up to this oil dipstick tube uh, into the PCB. And I have about 10 inches of vacuum there. It shouldn't be there. So I have an internal leak through this PCB. Which is why even when I plug up this hole, There's still no change. But this is just an easy test to show um, if you have any internal vacuum leaks through this PCB system. So I'm going to plug off this PCB system uh, and I'll let you look at my fuel trims. And we're going to listen to the engine. Alright, so I have this PCB pinched off as best as possible. As you can see, this learned value is at idle. And this is a long term fuel trim for idle only. You can see this was this was way negative. Same thing with that one. Those numbers are now negative. I have no vacuum in my in my crankcase. And very slowly these numbers are gonna come down. I'm gonna let this run a bit. I have no RPM fluctuation anymore. These numbers are going to stay negative until these these come down as close to zero as possible. I may not have that sealed off perfectly. I'm gonna let this run a bit. These numbers are still coming down. Our long term at idle. Getting very close. I like these numbers within, within five. So negative five across zero to positive five. Still coming down. I would be okay if these numbers even stayed here. So basically, I just have my PCV pinched off from my intake. And uh, basically, the PCV valve is a part of the valve cover and it's stuck open. And it's an internal vacuum leak. It's an air leak into the manifold through the PCV valve. These numbers look good. Still negative on my short term. I 
I'm okay with those numbers. No vacuum. So I'm going to keep you focused on my gauge and I'm going to try to put this hose back on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Oh, I got it. See my manifold? vacuum now building up on my gauge look at my fuel trims see my learned values jumping up my short term there's my short term very positive again these numbers are going to start climbing So this car needs a valve cover. This vacuum leak right here is just a symptom of the real leak, which is internal in this valve cover. This car needs a valve cover. These numbers are still climbing, staying positive, and it's going to go back into that repeating cycle again. So, little idea of how these fuel trim numbers work. It's like the short term has its own long term, if that makes sense. And then these these learned values are un are under partial load and that is its own set of learned values these don't work like the domestics still trying to fully understand that strategy but this car needs a valve cover you've seen it with the fuel trim numbers the manifold vacuum and the bcv so i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching